Hey everyone, Luke Shelton out of the Butte Civic Center for a pair of State A play-in games. Now the premise this afternoon is pretty simple. Win and you're on to Bozeman, lose and the road comes to an end. Let's get to those highlights. The Columbia Falls girls in a winner go home game against Laurel with the winner setting up a first round State A game against Frenchtown. And the locomotives rolling early as Maya Mack drains along two here for the first bucket. Then 20 seconds later from the other corner, it's Emma Tim sinking a three pointer and Laurel out to an early lead. And that lead continuing to grow as Madison Irving unloads from the wing and just like that, the locomotives are up by double digits. The Wildcats in need of points and they get two here from Kiera Kempinen as the junior hits the putback to cut into Laurel's lead. But Laurel answers right back as Elise Aby sidesteps and knocks in the layup to keep the locomotives ahead. The locomotives roll on to a 74-45 win and into the State A tournament for the first time since 2019. The Haver and Columbia Falls boys getting set to clash. The loser heads home, the winner gets a first round state matchup with defending Class A champion Butte Central. Well, this one's a doozy, so let's fast forward to the fourth quarter. Hunter Goodman hits the mid-range jumper here and the Wildcats lead by nine with five minutes left in regulation. This one's just about over, right? Well, hold on. Crawford Terry knocks it in off the glass and Columbia Falls lead is cut to six with three minutes remaining. Now off the steal, Carter Spangler drops in the fast break points and it's a three point game. And final seconds of regulation, Jackson Hedris coming up with a clutch three-pointer, and that'll help send this game to OT. But now the Wildcats take over as Cody Schweikert gets the put back here to put Sea Falls ahead. Final minute of OT and Lane Horner with the dish to Bryce Dunham and the Wildcats go up seven. And now on the breakaway, Reggie Sapa delivering the dagger and Columbia Falls will win 82 to 74, and the Wildcats head to stage for the first time since 2015. The State A tournament tips off on Thursday at Brick Breeden Fieldhouse in Bozeman. In Butte, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.